Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a video on how to hook a pull station to a fire alarm. So I'll show you all the things you'll need. You can use batteries, but I'm not going to do it that way. I think I might have another video of me doing it with batteries on my channel, um, unless I deleted it. But this time I'll be showing you how to do it with a power supply. So the things you'll need. Pull station alarm, obviously. You need a power supply. This one is 12 volts DC output. The input's 120 volts AC. The output is 12 volts DC. You can also use a 24 volts DC one, um, which probably works better to use for your 24 volts DC alarms. But I just have a 12 volts one. Stop using batteries because they die really quickly. Um. So, yeah, you need that. You need a screwdriver, Phillips head. Phillips head will work best. And you need just a wire. Like, you can go to the, like, hardware store and buy, like, speaker wire. You can cut an extension cord. You can buy them offline. Like, there's a lot of places you can get wired. You could, like, pull an old wire from an old from some broken piece of electronic or something but anyways I'll just show you how to do it now so just turn over your two alarms oh and by the way do not under any circumstance um, have this power supply plugged in while you're wiring up do not because it can end up like blowing up your alarms and they can catch fire and and if you accidentally like, and make sure before you, like, completely have it, like, wired up and everything, make sure you have no exposed wire. Um, um, make sure none of these wires are, like, out. So, like, out of the fire alarm, because, like, if you, if something happens and you touch them, it will pretty much electrocute you, basically. So, um, enough talking, let's just get to this. So, you want to take your, like, wire thing, hook it into the positive on your pull station. Hook it into the positive side of your pull station. So, if I just unscrew that, you want to just stick the wire, one of the sides of the wire in there, and then just screw it in till it's tight. Oh crap, I just unscrewed it. Hold on. Okay, that's tight. Alright. And then what you want to do is you want to take the other side of the wire and make sure I did that right. Okay, take the other side of your wire and stick it into the negative on your fire alarm. And then again, screw it in. And make sure it's tight. Again, don't have any exposed wire. Alright. Okay, that wire's tight. Alright. Now what you want to do is take your power supply, take the um the positive side of your power supply. You may not be able to tell it, but if you don't get it right the first time and it doesn't sound, then just switch the wires around and that will help. So you want to take the positive, hook it into the positive of the fire alarm. Now these kind of, the wires that run through these power supplies are kind of crappy. I mean, they break really easily. Like the wires kind of break easily and you have to wire strip them multiple times. And I'm sure eventually the power supply just will be down to like a couple of inches of power supply left. Because like the wires broke so much. 
then you'll just have to use batteries until you get another power supply and stuff. Okay, so once you got that in the negative of the power supply into the negative of your fire alarm, you want to do the same thing with the positive, like on your pull station. You want to take the positive wire um, of the power supply and hook it into the, or the negative part of your power supply, sorry, and hook it into the negative of your pull station and just screw it in just like so make sure that's tight okay it's tight 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 and tight okay so once you got that done you can now um plug in your um power supply all right hold on i gotta get over here and just plug it in. okay okay i got my power supply plugged in and when i pull down that pull station it should go off here we go Hope you guys hope that helped you guys a little bit. So that's about it.